Good evening, uh, CRCC family. Good evening po, body of Christ. Uh, my name is Pastor Nathaniel from CRCC Ortigas. No, shout out CRCC Ortigas. Welcome po sa ating Power Wednesday, sa ating pong uh, midweek service. Welcome CRCC Maine. Welcome po sa inyong lahat. CRCC Commonwealth. Welcome CRCC Kaypian, CRCC Novaliches, CRCC Batangas. And of course, CRCC Ortigas. No? So, welcome po sa ating Power Wednesday, Body of Christ. If you are here, welcome. Sa mga first-time guests, if you have been invited dito po sa ating live stream, welcome po no? sa inyong lahat. And we are glad and we are happy no? na nakasama po namin kayo sa uh, gabi pong ito. So, I'm very excited no, to share God's Word with us sa gabi, sa gabi pong ito. I'm very excited because I believe my word si Lord para sa atin. Amen? No, may inihanda ang Panginoon na word specially for you. This evening is for you. God has a word. God does a message para sa iyo sa gabing ito. Amen? No, so, naniniwala po ako doon. And uh, I'm also very excited no, kasi... Um, um, Uh, God has been good and God has been faithful sa atin. Ito pong uh, mga nakaraang linggo, ito pong mga nakaraang araw at naniniwala po ako, uh, the very best is yet to come. No, marami pang magagandang bagay ang paparating po sa atin. So, in behalf of Pastor Anthony and Pastor Maricel, welcome everyone sa ating Power Wednesday. No? So, let us study God's Word this evening. Let us feast and enjoy. No? Uh, God's Word sa gabi pong ito. No? Simulan po natin ito by reading God's Word, by reading the Scriptures in Joshua chapter 1. Basahin po natin from verses 1 up to verse 6. Joshua chapter 1 verses 1 up to verse 6. Okay, so basahin ko po. Ang sabi po dito, After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses aid. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now then, you and all these people get ready to cross. Get ready to cross. Get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land I am about to give to them, to the Israelites. Next, I will give you every place where you set your foot, as I have promised Moses. Your territory will extend. Your territory will extend. Your territory will extend. Pwede ba i-claim natin yon this evening? I-claim natin yon sa ating sarili. I-claim natin yon sa ating... Your territory will extend. Coming down below, my territory will extend. From the desert of Lebanon and from the great river, the Euphrates, Euphrates, no, all the Hittite country to the great sea on the west. Verse five, this is good. No one will be able to stand up against you all the days of your reign. Now that is a good verse. No one, no one will be able to stand up against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. Who? I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous because you will lead. You will lead. You will lead. Pwede ba i-claim mo yun? I will lead. Comment down below. I am a leader. You will lead. These people to inherit the land I swore to their forefathers to give them. Yan po yung ating verse, Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 up to verse 6. Ang title po na pag-usapan natin this evening for a few minutes, Focus on. Focus on. Focus on. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for Tonight, we thank you for your word. And study your word, Lord. We expect your blessing. 
as we said the word, we expect your presence. We expect your transforming power, O God, to be upon us. Baguhin mo po kami. Baguhin mo po ang bawat isa. I pray this will not just be another Wednesday, but Lord, this Wednesday will be special because this will be the Wednesday that you will be speaking to us personally. Maraming maraming pong salamat. Mangusap ka sa bawat isa. Baguhin mo po kami and we are open. We are open to receive your word. We are open to apply your word, Panginoon. Speak to us this evening. We love you and we honor you. This is our prayer. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen and Amen. Focus on. Alam nyo po, sa buhay, merong mga tinatawag natin na transitional moments or moments of transition no sa ating sa ating buhay ito po yung mga mga panahon sa buhay na you are moving from one season to another or you are you are choosing from one path to another pumipili ka ng tatahakin mo na path transition ng one season to another season no may mga ganyang moments tayo sa buhay mga transitional moments, mga moments of transition sa ating sa ating boy. For example po, number oh, you, for, for example, um yung yung pagpili ng course sa college, that is a transition moment. Ah, uh, sa mga senior high yung pagpili mo ng strand, pagpasok ng senior high, that is a transitional moment. That is a moment of transition kasi you are choosing a path na tatahakin mo. Okay? Kasi kung ano yung course na kukunin mo sa college, yan yung industry, yan yung career na papasukin mo, and most probably, yan yung tatahakin mo na path na ngayong buhay. Okay? So, very crucial yung mga moments of transition na yun. No Isa pang transitional moment sa pag-aasawa. Pagpili ng asawa, that is a transition moment din. Pag ikaw ay ikinasal, you are moving from one season to another. You are moving from a season na single to a married season. Transitional moment. Mga moments of transition ito. And these moments of transition will change our lives. Isa pang transition moment, pag nagkaanak. Okay, nag-transition ka from being single to being married. Isa pang transition from being, for example, lalaki, from being a husband. Now, I'm not just a husband, I'm also a father. Transition na naman yun. That will change your life once again. Okay? Isa pa pang transition na moment. The time you accepted Jesus Christ in your life as your personal Lord. Sino, sino dito naaalala mo pa yung, yung, yung moment na yun? You accepted Jesus Christ in your life, in your heart, as your personal Lord and Savior. That is also a transition moment. No? You, are, you are choosing to take the path. You are, you are making a decision to take the path of following Jesus Christ. That is another transition moment. Napakarami mga transition moments sa buhay. And these moments are so crucial na this can either make us or break us. Okay? Kapag ka, tama, maganda yung transition, everything is good. Pero may mga pagkakataon, nagkakamali tayo. May mga pagkakataon, pag nagkamali ka ng desisyon, nagkamali ka ng path, hindi ka nakapag-transition from one moment to another. Hindi ka nakapag-transition from one season to another. Nasa ibang season ka na, pero nabubuhay ka pa rin sa season na to. Hindi pwede, magkakagulo. Okay? For example, may asawa ka na, pero buhay single ka pa, hindi pwede, magkakagulo. Diba? College ka na, pero buhay elementary ka pa, hindi pwede. Hindi pwede, magkakagulo eh. Okay? So, napaka-crucial, napaka-halaga, napaka-crucial, um, uh, napaka, uh, um, no? Yung po mga moments of transition na ito. Yung po minasa natin sa text natin, sa si Joshua, <clears throat> Joshua chapter 1, this is a transition moment. This is a transition moment, not just for Joshua, but also for the, uh, uh, the, the nation of Israel. Transition moment. Sabi po ng Bible, doon sa binasa natin, sabi sa verse 1, no? after the death of Moses, 
the servant of Josh, the servant of the Lord. The Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses said, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, this is a transition moment. Sinasabi ni Lord kay Joshua, Joshua, um, transition na tayo. Transition ng leadership. Okay? Patay na si Moses. Okay? Patay na yung, yung, yung unang nag-lead sa nation ng Israel. And then verse 2, Moses, my servant is dead. Then, now then, you, God is talking to Joshua, you, and all these people, get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land that I'm about to give, you, give to them, to the Israelites. This is a transition. Binibili ni Lord yung Israelites kay Joshua. You will lead them. You and this nation. Magta-transition na kayo. Papasok kayo sa promised land. Okay? Magta-transition tayo ng leadership. This is a transition moment for Joshua. Now, I don't know kung ano ang ating mga sitwasyon ngayon, pero I believe, no, um, somehow, we are in a transition moment. Okay? Siguro yung iba sa atin nasa transition moment ka. Okay? From being an employee dahil sa pandemic na apektuhan ng yung trabaho, now you are entering entrepreneurship. Transition. Dati pumapasok ka ng 8 hours every day. Ngayon, nagbibusiness ka na. Transition yon, Okay? So, yung iba sa atin, yung mga estudyante, dati sa ka, pumapasok ka araw-araw. Ngayon, online na lang. Transition. May change. May change na nangyayari. Okay? Dahil sa COVID, nagkaroon tayo ng mga transition moments. May mga bago sa atin. May mga bagay na hindi, ta- hindi tayo sanay. Who could have imagined sa simula ng 2020 na ganito ang mangyayari? Wala naman eh. Si who, who, who would have imagined na schools will be online? Lahat ng school, churches will be online. Who would have imagined that? Diba? Wala naman ni pero dinala na tayo dito ng Panginoon. So may mga transition transition moments tayo. No, iba siguro sa atin nagtatrabaho, pre-remote ka, transition. Transition. Yung iba dito siguro pandemic kinasal ka, ngayon pandemic ikakasal ka. Ngayon, shout out may Nika and Patty, no? Ikakasal ka, transition, transition. Okay? Yung iba dito, nanganak ngayong pandemic, nagkaroon ka ng baby, no? Yung iba, mga anak pa lang, no? Shout out sa mga pregnant mommies natin, transition. So we are entering in a transition mode. Somehow we are in a transition moment. Hindi ko alam iba-iba lang tayo ng mga transition moments ng buhay. Pero I believe somehow one way or another nasa transition tayo. Ako po personally nasa transition din ako, no? Yung church, CRCC Ortigas, online, meetings online, PIDs online, and ngayon po, meron kaming bagong baby, si baby Judah, no? Uh, bagong baby, transition, no? Hindi na ako father of one, father of two, no ba? Transition, no? Ang daming, ang daming mga, mga transition moments. Now, in this transition moments, what do we need to know? Ano ba yung mga kailangan natin malaman? For us to be effective, still effective in this transition moments. Tignan natin si Joshua. Tignan natin dito sa book of Joshua. What we can learn pag pumapasok tayo sa transition moments. Are you ready? Are you ready? No, handa, are, you, are you ready for this? Okay? So if you are ready, pwede ba? Type a uh, uh, comment down below. I am ready. I am ready. Let us be ready for God's word. I believe God has a word for us. God has a word for you. Okay? This moment, if you are in a transition moment, praise the Lord. Andito ka. If this is your first time, this is perfect timing for you. Praise God. Wala aksidente kay Lord. Dinala ka talaga ng Panginoon dito because you are in a transition moment and this word is, this word is for you. Number one, in our transition moment, number one, focus on the future. Focus on the future. Okay? Focus on the future. In our transition moment, it is good for us to learn from the past, but we must not stay and focus on the past. Rather, we must focus on the future. Okay? Ang sabi po dun sa verse 1 na binasa natin, 
After the death of Moses, a servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses said, Moses, my servant is dead. Ang sinasabi ni Lord kay Joshua, Joshua, Moses is dead. Yung season ni Moses, tapos na yun. It's dead. Moses is dead. Okay? Tapos na yung season na yun. Transition na tayo. Kasi baka si Joshua nabubuhay pa rin siya na para siyang second in command pa rin. Para pa rin siyang kanang kamay. Hindi, Joshua, ang inaano ni Lord dito, hindi ka na kanang kamay. You are not the leader of this nation. You will lead them towards the promised land. Okay? Huwag ka nang mabuhay na parang assistant. Hindi ka na assistant. Okay? Moses, my servant, is dead. Tapos na yun. Okay? Focus na tayo sa future. Focus na tayo sa future. Ang sabi ng Panginoon dito, Moses, my servant, is, da- is dead. Now then, you and all these people. Next, get ready to cross. Ang sinasabi dito ng Bible, ang sinasabi dito ni Lord kay, kay, uh, kay Joshua, no? Joshua, patay na si Moses. No? Tapos na. Tapos na yung season na yun. This is your season. This is your season. This is your moment. Pwede ba comment down below? This is my season. This is my moment. This transition is my moment. This transition is, is my season. This is your. This is your season. Now, tapos na yung season ni Moses. Ang sinasabi ni Lord kay Joshua, get ready to cross the Jordan River. Get ready to cross. No? We are crossing over. We are going to the other side. Tapos na yon. Tapos na yung dati. Tapos na yung past. Okay? Don't live in the past. No? Sabi nga, past is past. Ang nakaraan ay nakaraan. Tapos na. Wag mo nang, wag mo nang balikan ang nakaraan. Tapos na yan. Focus on the future. Focus on the bright future. Focus on the amazing, great, big future God has in stored for you and me. Let us focus on that. Get ready to cross. No? Don't look back and stay, but get ready to cross. Sometimes kasi, no, um, meron tayong tendency to be comfortable in a situation, to be comfortable in a season na ayaw na nating umalis, ayaw na nating lumabas. We are so comfortable sa, sa sitwasyon na okay na to, okay na tong ganito. Pero sinasabi ng Lord, no, 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 no. La remember last Sunday, pinag-usapan po natin getting out of your comfort zone. Um, get out of your father's house, no? Get out of your comfort zone, no? Alis ka na dyan, wag ka sa comfort zone mo for you to grow, for you to experience the great things God has in store for your life. Ganon din kay Joshua, eh. sinasabi ni Lord dito kay Joshua, get ready to cross. May malaki akong plano, may maganda akong plano, wag nyo sayangin dyan. Get ready to cross. This is your transition moment. Focus on the future. No? Sabi po dito sa um, Luke chapter 9 verse 59. Sabi, He said to another man, follow me. God is talking. Sabi ni Lord, follow me. But the man replied, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. Mamatay yung father niya. Jesus said to him, Let the dead bury their own dead. But you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Grabe naman, Lord. Ang harsh mo naman. Hindi, ang sinasabi dito ni Lord. The point is, not that don't bury your father. The point is, don't live in the past. Tapos na yun eh. Okay? Ah, ah, ah. Put your focus towards the future. Next, ang sabi pa sa, kab- sa, sa susunod na verse, still another said, I will follow you, Lord. But first, let me go back. Let me go back. Alam nyo, mga kapatid, ang daming tao, you are going back. <coughs> ang daming tao, you are going back in the past. 
You are going back in the past. Tumatakbo ka papunta sa future, pero yung isip mo, yung mata mo nasa past. Ang sabi dito, yung isa sabi, let me go back and say to my, and say goodbye to my family. Jesus replied, No one who puts his hand to the pillow and looks back is fit to serve in the kingdom of God. Ano ba yan, Pastor? Anti-family ba si Jesus? Bit ganyan. Kanina, yung father, i-bury, wag mo i-bury ngayon. Goodbye to family, wag ka na mag... Ano yan? No, no, no. The point is, God is telling this lesson, God is saying this lesson not to focus on the past. But focus on the future. Don't go back. Don't, don't look back. Don't focus sa past. And now, it's good to learn from the past. And let us maximize our present to be ready for our future. Ang mahirap, you live in the past. Okay? God is telling us tonight to focus on the future. Tapos na yun eh. Okay, wala tayong magagawa doon. Matuto na lang tayo doon. Sa past. Pero ang focus natin dapat as a future. Ang focus natin, ano pa yung kayang gawin ng Panginoon sa sitwasyon natin ngayon. Sa sitwasyon mo ngayon. Pastor, nawala na ako ng trabaho. Okay, tapos na yun. Anong kailangan mong gawin ngayon? Pastor, nalugi yung business namin. Okay, tapos na yun. Moses is dead. Ngayon, anong, anong, anong pwede mong gawin ngayon? Anong pinapagawa sa iyo ni Lord ngayon? Okay. Pastor, ganito, ganito, okay, tapos na yun. Matuto tayo doon. Ngayon, anong pinapagawa ni Lord sa iyo ngayon? Another verse, Philippians chapter 3, verse 13, the Apostle Paul, no, sabi ni Apostle Paul, Brothers, I do not consider myself yet have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. Again, let me say it again. You cannot change your past. You cannot change your past. Learn from the past, but you cannot change the past. Maximize your present. Do your best in the present. Be wise in the present. To be prepared for the future. Na hindi rin naman pwede na nakapokus ka sa future na hindi mo pinagbubutihan ngayon. Ne, bala na, bala na sa future. Hindi rin pwede yun eh. Your present is your preparation for the future. Kaya ang sabi ni Lord kila Joshua, get ready to cross. Hindi sinabi ni Lord na, oh Joshua, ikaw na leader, oh cross. Hindi, sabi ni Lord, get ready. Get ready to cross. Hindi sinabi ni Lord na, oh, sige, ikaw na leader, cross na kayo. No, no, no. Ang sabi ni Lord, get ready. Get ready. I-prepare nyo muna. Mag- okay, yung vision natin, yung inaay natin, yung future, andyan. Focus tayo sa future. Pero habang nag-focus tayo sa future, dapat yung mata natin nasa future, pero dito sa present, inaayos na, minamaximize natin yung present natin. Okay? Because your present, what you do in the present, is your preparation for for the future. Focus on the future, not on the past, not on what happened before. Learn from it. Pero keep your focus on the future. Number two, <clears throat> focus on God's promises. Focus on God's promises. As we focus on the future, We must focus also on God's promises. We must, we must, we must always carry God's promises in our lives, in our hearts. No? Kay Joshua, ang pangako ni Joshua, ang pangako ni Lord kay, kay Joshua, in Joshua chapter 1 verse, <coughs> Joshua chapter 1 verse 3, ito yung pangako ni Lord kay, kay Joshua. No? Ang sabi, This is God's promise. I will give you every pra- place where you set your foot as I promised Moses. Ito yung pangako ni Lord. Kung nasan ka, that's your territory. Kung nasan ka nakatayo, that's your territory. And I'll give it to you. Your territory will extend. Who? Your territory will extend. I want you to claim that. I want you to receive that in your spirit. 
your territory will extend. From the desert of Lebanon, from the great rivers of um, Euphrates, all the Hittite country, to the great sea on the west. Verse 5. No one will be able to stand up against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. This is God's promise to, to Joshua. Now, <coughs> God, Joshua is in a transition moment. Papasok sila, he will be the new leader. And this is the promise. Binibigyan ni Lord ng assurance si Joshua, hindi kita iiwan. Lahat ng tapakan mo, magiging sa'yo. Yung territory mo, i-extend. Lahat ng kalaban mo, tatalunin mo. Lahat i-overcome mo. Ano mang, ano mang bagay, ano mang tao, ano mang nation na awayin ka, hindi sila magtatagumpay. This is God's promise. To Joshua in his transition moment, I want to tell you, church, this is God's promise for you in your transition moment. God will be with you. Your territory will extend. God will never leave you nor forsake you. Nobody, no one will be able to stand up against you. Why? Because God is with you. In our transition moment, don't let worries, don't let fear, don't let the circumstances in life cloud God's promises in your life. Wag nating hayaan na yung mga worries, yung mga nangyayari, yung mga sitwasyon sa paligid, no, na dahil dito sa mga sitwasyon na to, naging malabo, naging blurred, hindi naging malinaw yung mga pangako ni Lord. Yes, may worries. Hindi, we don't deny reality. Yes, may mga nangyayari na hindi natin control. Yes, may mga nangyayari na hindi natin alam. Pero wag nating hayaan na itong mga worries na ito no, ay maging dahilan ng pagkalimot natin sa mga pangako ni Lord or maging malabo yung mga pangako ni Lord. Huwag mong hayaan. Okay? Dapat laging malinaw yung mga promises ni Lord. Dapat laging yung focus natin <coughs> ay nasa mga pangako ng ng Panginoon. No? Ano ba ang malinaw sa atin ngayon? Yes, may mga nangyayari pero dapat malinaw yung pangako ni Lord sa buhay natin. Nasa ang focus mo? Focus on the promises of God. Alam nyo po ito, fun fact. No? Actually, nabanggit ko na to ng morning prayer, I think. No? Ang ating palang mata, yung focus ng ating mga, mga mata, ang kaya lang fokusan ng mata mo ay kasing laki ng kuko sa hinlalaki mo. Okay? Yung hinlalaki, yung kuko niyan, ganyan lang kalaki talaga ang kayang i-focus ng mata mo. So kahit manood ka sa 100-inch na television, manood ka sa sobrang laking 3D na sinihan, ang kaya lang pukosan ng mga mata mo ay kasing laki lang ng uko sa hinlalaki. The rest, peripheral vision. Kita mo pa rin. Andyan eh, kita mo. Pero blurred. Kita mo pero, pero malabo. Pero kita mo sila. Okay. Kaya pag nanood tayo ng movie, nag enjoy tayo, wow, ang ganda ng effects, ang ganda ng ganito. Pero ang napupokus lang talaga, ang malinaw lang talaga sa mata mo, yung malinaw lang, yung HD, yung clear lang talaga sa mata mo, kasing laki lang ng, kasing laki lang ng hintoto, ng hinlalaki. Pero, kita mo lahat. Okay, what's my point? The point is this. Yung mga pangako ni Lord, dapat clear sa atin. The rest, peripheral vision. Kita mo pa rin. Pero peripheral na lang sila. Nasa likod na lang sila. Pero yung mata mo ay focus. Yung mata mo ay malinaw. Malinaw sa'yo yung pangako ng Panginoon. Malinaw sa'yo yung pangako ng Diyos. 
Now, we don't deny reality. Andiyan ang problems. Andiyan ang worries. Andiyan ang fear. Andiyan yan. Pero peripheral lang sila. Kita natin. Concern tayo, yes. Pero peripheral lang sila. Ang malinaw sa atin ay yung mga pangako ng Diyos. God will never leave you nor forsake you. God will always be with you. No one will be able to stand up against you. I will give you where you set your foot in. Um, your territory will extend. Focus on the promises of God in <coughs> your life. God is good. God is faith. Pero papalakpakan po natin si Lord. Thank you for His word. God is good and God is faithful. Number three. Number three. Focus on God's presence. Focus on God's... Focus on God's presence. No? Ang sabi doon, next, pinag-usapan, binasa na rin natin kanina, sabi, no one will be able to stand up against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. God said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their forefathers to give them. Sabi nyo, sasamahan kita. Sasamahan kita. Diyan sa transition moment mo, sasamahan kita. That is God's assurance. Sabi nyo, sasamahan kita. My presence will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Whatever happens, I will be with you. Yes, mataas ang walls. Yes, malalakas yung kalaban. Yes, malalaki sila. Yes, very powerful. Yes, mala- pero sabi nun, I will be with you. This is a great, this is a great promise from the Lord. God's presence is with you. Church, I want to tell you, God's presence is with you. As you enter into this transition moment of your life, God's presence is with you. Sa mga papasok o ngayon ay nasa transition, God's presence is with you. You don't need to fear because God's presence is with you. No? But this is what, what God told Abraham on verse 7. <coughs> Sabi ni Lord, Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey. Be careful to obey all the laws my servant Moses gave you. Listen. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left. Ang, sabi na, ang sinasabi ni Lord dito, Focus! Focus! Okay? Focus! Maganda yung promises! Maganda yun! Focus! I want you to obey! Do not fear! Obey! Sumunod ka! I will be with you! This great promise, this presence of God that is with us comes with a command. Nasabi Lord, huwag ka matakot. And keep the laws. Keep the laws. Okay? Keep the laws. Sumunod ka. And God's presence will be with you as you obey. Okay? Focus. Keep your focus. Sabi ni, sabi ni Lord dito. Kaya ang sabi, do not turn from it for the right to the, or to the left. And this is good. That you may be successful in some of you do. Amen? No! That you will be, you may be successful Wherever you go, you will be successful wherever you go. Why? Because God's presence is with you. Alam niyo po, God's presence creates, um, ah, God's presence causes supernatural things to happen. God's presence makes ordinary men extraordinary. God's presence makes the natural into supernatural. That is what God's presence does. So we, 
as ordinary, as normal people, as normal, ordinary followers of Jesus Christ, if God's presence is with you, you can do extraordinary things. You can do supernatural things because God's presence and God's power is with us. I want to end on this verse, Acts chapter 4, verse 13 to 14. Acts chapter 4, verse 13 to 14. Nasabi, when they saw the courage of Peter and John. This is after Jesus, after the <coughs> crucifixion, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus Christ. Sinisimulan nila yung church sa Acts chapter 4, sa Acts, sa, sa book of Acts. Sinimulan nila ang first uh, century church. Nakita yung courage, yung tapang ni Peter, yung tapang ni John. And realize, they were unschooled. Ordinary men. Sabi ng mga tao, normal lang naman to eh. Wala kang pinag-aralan niya ni eh. unschooled. Ordinary men. They were astonished. And they took note. Woohoo! They took note. Isipin mahalaga. They took note. Bakit ang tapang ng dalawa? Bakit ang lupet ang tindi ni Peter and ni John? They took note that these men had been with Jesus. The Bible is telling us, kaya may courage, kaya may tapang si, si, si Peter and si John it's not because they're good, unschooled nga eh, ordinary men nga eh. Not because matapang lang sila, but they are so courageous because they had been with, with Jesus. They had been with Jesus. If you stay in God's presence long enough, it creates intimacy. Even a normal, ordinary person can do extraordinary and supernatural things because of their intimacy with God. Kaya mga kapatid, intimacy is very, very important. Kaya po we encourage everyone, no, yung ating devotional life, yung ating mga services, yung ating prayer life, yung ating morning prayer and devotion, yung mga moments that we receive God's word, yung ating worship time. During this pandemic, are you still really worshiping God? O baka nanonood ka na lang? Do you still worship? Do you still enter the courts of heaven, do you still enter the presence of our great and mighty God? Focus on God's presence. You want to see extraordinary things, you want to see supernatural things, you want to see great things? Be with Jesus. Be with the presence of God. And if you are a first-time guest, if this is your first time, second time, or third time, I encourage you to have an intimate. Kanina, pinag-usapan natin, intimacy. I want, I, I want to challenge you to be intimate with God this morning, at this evening. No? I challenge you, and I ask you to have a personal intimate relationship with God. God loves you so much. Alam natin yan eh. God loves you. God has a wonderful plan for your life. Maganda plano ni Lord. Okay? But, we must have a relationship with Him. A relationship with Jesus Christ. To accept Jesus Christ in our hearts. To accept Jesus Christ in our lives as our personal Lord and Savior. Now, I challenge you to accept Him this evening. Now, if you are that person, you want to accept Jesus Christ in your life 
as your personal Lord and Savior, let me pray for you. No? And we will pray together. No? Sundan niyo po ako sa panalangin na ito, tatanggapin natin ang Panginoong Isus sa ating buhay bilang Panginoon at tagapagligtas. Just follow this prayer. Lord, thank you for this day. Patawarin niyo po ako sa mga kasalanang nagawa ko. Linisin niyo po ako. Tinatanggap kita, Panginoong Yesu Kristo, sa aking buhay bilang tanging Panginoon at tagapagligtas. Tinatanggap ko ang buhay na walang hanggan na nagmumula po sa iyo. Baguhin mo po ako. Baguhin mo po ang aking pamilya. Baguhin mo po ang aking future. E pinagkakatiwala ako sa iyo ang lahat. Maraming maraming pong salamat. Itong aking dalangin. Sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Let me pray for you. Lord, thank you for this evening. Thank you for your word. Who, Lord, we are entering into a transition moment. We are, we are in a transition moment. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your promises. Thank you for teaching us to look into the future, to focus forward. Father in heaven, we come to you this evening. We claim, we receive, we accept, Panginoon, all your promises, the fulfillment of all of those promises, Lord God. And we want to stay in your presence, Lord. Sa darati, sa, 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 sa mga araw po, sa linggong ito, let your presence fill us. We want to experience your presence more this week. We want to experience your presence more. Fill us more of your presence this week. Pagpalaan niyo po ang bawat isa, pagpalaan niyo po ang bawat pamilya, Panginoon, that is represented in this place. Salamat po, Panginoon, for this opportunity once again to hear your word. We love you and we honor you. This is our prayer in Jesus Christ's name. Amen and Amen. Palakpaan po natin si Lord. God bless you, CRCC. I love you.